<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dan, and in this lesson, I'll teach you how to play Lakeshore Drive by Aliota Haynes Jeremiah from the Guardians 2 soundtrack. We're going to look at the intro in this first video, which sounds like this. Three, four. There are four other videos to learning this song, and the rest are all at hdpiano.com when you wrap up learning the intro. I'm guessing a lot of you guys saw Guardians 2, heard this song, looked it up, and uh, came across our tutorial somehow. So affirm that for me. Comment below. Let me know if you did, in fact, watch the movie and uh, were guided to our tutorial somehow through the movie. Actually, I'm, maybe I'm more curious to know how many of you guys are here. Uh, not because of the movie. Um, either way, comment below, how'd you find this lesson or this song? It's kind of obscure and uh, got me wondering. All right, so this intro is really cool. It's this flashy piano part, has us playing all up and down the keyboard, mostly chordal stuff. Uh, we're in the key of E major, and this is middle C right here. So our left hand is on E, G sharp, B, and our right hand does the same. I'm gonna teach hands together here because uh, they sort of work in conjunction. So we're going to play this E chord. Left hand stays the same. And the right hand jumps up way up a couple octaves to G sharp, B, E. So we're two octaves above that first E. Like this. And when we play these chords, we roll them from bottom to top. Ever so subtly. It's a pretty, pretty rapid um, ascent, right? Okay. Next chord is C sharp minor, E, G sharp, C sharp in the left hand, E, G sharp, C sharp in the right hand. It's just the same chord. And we just transfer that chord up the octave in the right hand. Left hand stays the same. The third chord in our chord progression, and the final chord, is G sharp minor. D sharp, G sharp, B in the left, same in the right. We're not jumping quite as high on this chord. We go up to B, D sharp, G sharp. The left hand stays put. Then we've got this cool syncopated rhythm. We're gonna add the thumb there if you can reach this. If not, it's okay if you just do this. It fills it out a little bit if you can play that G sharp in the thumb and the pinky. Okay, so let's go back, review those chords. And we'll talk about the rhythm and how exactly we're gonna play the chords. So play the E chord, jump the right hand up to this inversion. Left hand stays put. We do a similar format on this C sharp minor. Jump it up the octave. And similarly on this G sharp minor, jumps up to this inversion. And just add that thumb, okay? So I'm going to play it in, I guess, at recorded speed, just so you can sort of see it now that you know how it breaks down. Now you can see it in action. Here it is. So that's the goal, okay? That's the speed we'd like to get to. Um, and just as a note, as an aside, this is the piano part that we, we manually extracted from the song. So we're not adding the melody or the bass or the drums or anything. This is the piano part. Um, and it's really cool because it's a very improvised part. So it gives us a lot of liberty. But this intro is, is distinct and it, it, uh, I think it makes the song. So let's try this. Okay, let's try very slowly what I just did. Okay, ready? Play with me. Three, four, E, and one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, again. Couple more times.
Okay. So in the song, we play it three times. We play this. Play that stretch of notes three times. After the third time, we play this. It's the same chords and actually some of the same shapes, in fact, um, just played a little differently. So we're on this E chord. This is our position. We're just going to kind of play outside, in, outside on this rhythm. And we do the same thing on this C sharp minor. These chords are borrowed from the first measure of the song. They should be too unfamiliar. And that's a fun little hint at what's to come. This rhythm here is uh, is fun. So we play. That is the fourth um, phrase in the intro series. All right, so let's go back to the very beginning of the song now that I've kind of added this, this uh, little curveball here at the end of the intro. Let's play it all very slowly. So I'm going to play three times this guy, and then the fourth time is going to be... Okay, there's an overview, and here we go. Slowly from the beginning. Ready, and uh, play, e and... Uh. Let's see if we can do all that at medium tempo. If you struggled there, go back, rewind, uh, play it at that speed until you're ready to move on. So here we go, medium tempo, the whole intro. Ready and uh, play E and. Uh. We still maybe have one more medium speed, a medium fast before we get to recorded tempo. Let's try that. Ready and uh, play E and. Uh. Recorded tempo, 93 BPM. One E and a two E and a ready and a play. Do that one more time so I can repair those couple small mistakes I made there at the end. Ready and a play and a. Bravo if you're still with me. If you're not, rewind and keep practicing. This one is a doozy, and there's a lot more where that comes from. So I hope you'll join me over at hdpiano.com to learn the rest of this song and to browse our thousands of other videos there. Find us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're doing a lot of cool things at each of those channels. 
And of course, subscribe and give us a thumbs up on this video if you haven't yet on YouTube. We really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you over at hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson.